There are just so many obstacles that you or I probably wouldn't even think about, but when you're flying a plane with hundreds of gallons of chemicals, you have to, because disaster can strike at any moment. From takeoff to the air. Pilots flying ag applicator planes say they have to be attentive and cautious at all times. You have to have a desire to, and love to fly first, you know, and all the, all the things that go with uh, flying an ag aircraft. Brent Stewart has been doing this job for over 30 years, now working for an extension of the Aurora Co-op in Minden. During this time of year, he says, pilots spend up to 15 hours a day above the fields. I'm constantly watching these guys because we're putting in a lot of hours and if they need a break, I'll get in and go. It's just one of a number of safety precautions these pilots take. Depending on the job, they say they average spraying 160 acres in roughly 20 minutes. Time that has to be spent constantly monitoring everything from the weather to objects in the field. We still circle the fields to make sure there aren't irrigators or someone jogging down the road or, or what have you. You know, those are some pretty important things. And even new technology. Stewart says within the past few years, drones have become another danger to watch for. I've had two operators already tell me they've had occurrences with drones and it's not, it's not going to be a good outcome. All of this done with speed and proficiency. Stewart says it's not a job for everyone. This industry uh, is all about efficiency. You know, we have a very short time frame, small window to get the applications done. You heard me mention in that story that Brent's been doing this for over 30 years. He says when he first started, his planes didn't have any air conditioning and that he'd end the season 20 pounds lighter. He and his pilots are thankful for the comforts like AC that make this job a little bit easier.